god. Talk to these kids. Hey. Hey, you're new. I am. I'm carving a weapon. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, I can see that. You're good at that. You like that, huh, little dude? Want to see something cool? I want to see. Pretty rad, huh? That's how you fuck up some monsters. I swear. Uh, I'm sorry. Huh. All right then. Mmm. Yes. Hey guys. Clem, AJ, this is Omar. Yeah, excuse me. Chef Omar. Hello, and no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place, and he's grumpy for a week. You can eat or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. There's that girl I bit. Yeah, wanna talk to her? You mean, say I'm sorry? Yep. Yes. She's scary and always seems so Yeah, alive. yeah, she scares me as well, to be honest. You can do it. You just gotta... Tell her why you did it. Because of my... thing? Yep. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Just be honest. Yes? I'm sorry I bit you sometimes. When I get scared, I do that, but I don't mean to. I just... I just get scared, and I'm sorry, and I hope your finger is okay. <laughs> oh, Shug, it's all right. We can all get a little crazy when we get scared. Thank you for your honesty and your apology. I did it. You sure did. I'm not ready. Not yet. Never mind then. Okay. Let's talk to someone else. Hello. All right, in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. Hello. Oh hey, it's you two. Clementine, right? Yep. A sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm, like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past and all that. <sighs> hmm. You seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back the safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt, which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it! That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. It was just sitting what there. You said about me, so? bitch. Oh, I want to read so it. So it was just then sitting get there. Off. AJ, give it back to him. Okay. Thank you. This thing is the only place I get any real privacy around here. I gotta preserve what I can, you know. I gotta finish this before dinner. Not to be like rude, but you know. Bye. That is rude, dude. Very rude. Oh, oh, oh. I can talk to these down here. Hey guys. What is this? Our graveyard. You guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody really. This is where we buried ten sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost them. Both about a year ago. Paying respects. 
should we do that too? Maybe? Yeah. Yep. I think that'd be a very nice thing to do, AJ. Come on. Thank you. Clem? Yeah? I'm ready. To talk to Marlin. Okay. Finally. Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. <laughs> Be careful. He bites. <laughs> Don't worry about Ruby. From what I hear, it was self-defense. I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? <laughs> Don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You are a regular heavyweight. Hey, Clem! AJ! Stew's done! You guys earn your supper after all. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. <laughs> Thanks. Wow, I can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Hmm, this is really good. Oh god. Mm. <laughs> oh, come on! Uh. <laughs> Hey, slow it up, AJ. You're gonna choke. <laughs> Just because everything else died doesn't mean manners did. I'll say goodnight. Goodnight. Clem. <laughs> Is that your whole hole? Sorry, me? buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. You sure? You bet. I know what you're trying to do. <sighs> I'm all done. But punch me now. Mm-hmm. Me too. My no. god, he needs to get out. I'll tell you what. Face, man. Time for something very important. Oh, God. Good night. Violet, <laughs> it's time. What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. Get ready, losers, because it's time for you all to lose. Oh, shit! I like that. Full talk. Uh-uh. True talk. It's easy. Oh, God, she Everyone don't gets like stacked cards. Shit. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? I want to get to know you. We all do. What if Clem wins? And what if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's only fair. Ooh, wait, what about AJ? What about him? <laughs> Looks like he's made a friend. Come on. You can take your eyes off him for one card game. But you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Oh god, I've got cramp in my foot. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. Way to go, me. So, about AJ. Where are AJ's parents? 
You two don't really look related, so... What happened there? They're dead. They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. Yeah, we're He's a, a nice kid. A bit, a bit out, to be honest. For the most part. Hey, I win. Hey, you do. So, Dude, what do you want to know? Mm, 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 mm. I'm sorry, Marlin. I'm so sorry. What's up with your haircut, Marlin? Oh, boy. Uh, what do you mean? She means looks like a dead cat. Probably <laughs> smells like one, too. Uh, I look cool. <laughs> Whatever you say. I say I look cool. <laughs> Booyah! Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever oh, had a boyfriend? Up, oh my god. What? It happened. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. Never. Not even once? Never. Hmm. <laughs> I win. So, Clem, you can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Anyone? No, no, I don't talk about. Uh, I had people. Everyone Two had side. people at some point. Two sides. We had adults here. Now we don't. Well, I had people, and now I don't. Oh, Fair enough. She's my. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. Mm. Worst injury you ever saw. I uh, saw a walker get hit in the head so hard both his eyeballs flew out. Pretty cool. Mm. I saw someone have their intestines pulled all the way out. Like, all the way. It oh, goes on God. for a while. We got a lot of guts. Victory Violet. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? Re really gonna ask that question? That is fucked up. <laughs> oh, I know. Um, Lewis, Lewis definitely. Lewis, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. 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 <laughs> what? I'd have said the same. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. Oh, God. Lee. His name was Lee. It was the same day I found out my parents were dead. That... sounds like a rough day. <sighs> yeah. Worst day of my life. Too sad. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah. It's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Good night. Night, AJ. Hey. Long day, huh? Yep. Real long. I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. Hmm. Close still. You guys relax. Get some sleep. Be human for a night. In the morning, come find me. We can talk about making this long term. We can stay? We can talk about it.
way out? Yep. Good. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like tin? Yeah, like tin. Huh. I like to do pictures too. Oh. Shit, I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Hmm. Where the hell is it? Oh, God, it's that, in it? Oh. What? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, Ten sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry, we didn't know. No, no, it's... It's fine, don't, don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's, it's fine. Yeah, you should probably give it back You should back probably to give the box back. It doesn't belong to us. Thanks, buddy. It's just that Ten wanted it since it was his sister's and all. It's okay. You can finish your drawing, though. I don't mind. Huh. I see you're, um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had, like, paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. Mm. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> <laughs> she had the most amazing voice. Real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they... Afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. I guess I just lost my train of thought. No, oh, they sound like they were great friends. Yeah, Sophie was a good friend. And Minnie, uh, we were close. Me and her. What exactly happened to them, Sophie and Minerva? They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly like a people person, you know? I know yeah. I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. Yeah, me too. First impressions aren't exactly my strong suit either. Oh, right. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. <laughs> Not bad, kiddo. What's he say on it? I should be getting back. Thanks again for the box. You're pretty cool, AJ. See ya. Yeah. See ya. Okay, Alvin Jr., time for bed. Okay, here. For me? Oh. For the wall, to make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. How about here? AJ? What the hell? What the hell is he doing? Hey there. What are you doing? This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> 
<laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. Come on, AJ. The bed is way better. Yep. Oh, man, this bed is so comfy. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? I'll keep watch. I'll sleep with one eye open if I have to. You can't sleep like that. Shit. I tried. This kid's too small. If I stay here, no one can find me. Oh, and God. I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? Please, Clem. It's not so bad down here. I'm not gonna let him sleep on floor. To it's gonna I'm be okay. Not. Please just give the bed a chance. It's soft and warm. I think you'll really like it. <sighs> this bed is <laughs> really soft. Told you so. It's really, really soft. Good night, AJ. Clem? Hmm? This place is nice. I'm glad we found it. Me too. He's gonna let us stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Up here! Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, How the hell does he know up? where his office is? It's in here. Hey, Clem. Thanks for the sure. pencils. I missed having colors. Sure thing. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a boss. Oh, how do we know what they all are? She's what gonna is? save the day. But what are they? They... These were the people who protected us. Where are they? I've never seen one before. Uh, you'll They're still out there. Someday. someday, maybe you'll meet one. That would be cool. Super cool. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey. Oh my god, don't be like that. that. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay. That's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. It's mine. No, it's not. Ugh. Fine. Thanks. Do you know where Marlon is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. Look. What? Hey, what'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? <sighs> what the hell? Marlon? <gasps> Whoa. Stay back. Um, this dog sort of wants to kill me. You said dogs brought back bad memories. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were so scared of them. 
Well, you would be if you like it when I we swear, were dead. Lucy's not as frightening as she seems. <laughs> Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you is all. Here. I'll show you. Do you trust me? Rosie. <laughs> Sorry. Right, if I get me on bit off, it's your bite. fault. <sighs> okay, I guess. I've never got permission to cut your hair off. Get down on her level. Let her get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. So lie down, Rosie. Hmm. That's so cool. See? Not so hard. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, we bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind <laughs> to fend for ourselves. Wow, well, what a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were a part of that. Both of you are plenty capable and we need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. What's the trap area? A hunting grounds, more or less. It's Lewis built some traps out there to catch more. games. He and Sam are set to go check them today. The greenhouse? Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. Had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Well, if you need yeah. food, why would yeah, you keep away from it overgrown? Now. Well, I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. I wanted this place to be hard to find. Wait, what's that, sir? <laughs> I think don't go here. Wow. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. I got a shack for storage right here, right along the river. It's secure mostly. You get the occasional walker to come by. Vine Brody should be heading out there in a bit. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and the food's become more scarce. So why not go outside it? <laughs> we can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends, siblings, I, I can't let another kid die. We're not gonna let that happen. I promise. Oh God, I feel like I said that. <sighs> Thanks, I'm gonna be pissed if someone dies. I appreciate that. I really do. And you know that somebody's gonna die. Everyone's at one counting point. on me to step up. Let's be honest. The leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. But maybe you can help me feed the rest. 
So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis... I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. Go We're fishing. gonna go fishing. Okay. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Just remember that to stay everybody in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, you're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. <laughs> 